Hello Commanders and welcome to part 26 of the Rise of the Ottoman Empire series. Imagine we are in part 26 and still going on. This battle is crazy. We are in day 68 in 4 XP map and we are still against the full coalition of the agents. We are doing a tremendous work here. This is the art of war. This is the art of conflict of nations, World War III. They could not get our lands. They only kept on sending ICBMs from all the sides, but, but they couldn't. They literally couldn't send their units inside Ankara, our capital. After we destroyed the Indian air ace, now that stack is without defense. It's defenseless. So my strategy in the first place was to get rid of the Indian Air Ace that was equipped with four Air Superiority Fighters in order to get a free hit on this land stack. It is in the mountains. I am 100% sure that it is composed of anti-air, special operations, uh, special forces, of course, and artilleries. So let's see. Let's establish the first contact and let's see what we are dealing here. Uh, what we are de dealing with. So basically, this is a 13th Special Operations Group. Okay, um, so it is a stack that has uh, uh, special forces in it. It has also anti-air because that stack has attacked me before I get there. And uh, judging from the damage I received, 100% it has like anti-air. So let's have a look at the casualties. After successfully landing two hits with our stacks of elite attack aircrafts and we killed one special forces. Okay, that stack 100% is heavily hurt. So another hit and it's going to be doomed. This is Myanmar with his max level air superiority fighters. I have been fighting on his coast. He had attack submarines. So we saw that in the last episode that um, Myanmar had like max level destroyers and attack submarines. By the way guys, a combination of subs and destroyers is totally useless. Like, don't just have these two at the same time. And you see in front of you that he lost all of his destroyers and now he lost the remainings of his attack submarines and now I'm getting to his coastal cities as I am going to destroy his naval bases. The good thing that his capital Naipitao, it is within the range of my attack range of 100 of my elite battle group. So yeah, as soon as Myanmar is going to lose his uh, naval defenses, he'll be doomed. I will destroy all of his coastal cities. Okay, now it's uh, the turn for these Myanmar uh, max level motorized infantry on the front. I'm gonna get rid of them. My drones, they are scouting all the lands 24 on 24 hours because um, we never know. We never know where are the Indian Special Forces. Okay, so basically at the end of today's episode, we are going to see a major event, which is extremely important. Something that we have been waiting for for too long. If you want to know what is going to happen today, keep watching till the end. Don't forget about that. So. Uh, here are the Myanmar Air Force. We killed his air superiority fighters that were patrolling over my elite battle group with my anti-air. I killed it. And you see that he has a huge air force there. Heavy bombers, max level air superiority fighters. I, you can imagine. You can imagine the strength of that air force. Okay, so he is down to one motorized infantry. I'm attacking it with attack helicopters due to the lack of air force I'm having. I sent back my air superiority fighters and elite attack aircrafts to my capital Ankara for them to heal. Of course, I'm upgrading my uh, my military hospital there. Soon we will be having a level 5 military hospital. Guys, if you only see the buildings in my capital, look at that. Level 5 underground bunker, level 5... Um, Airbase. Now we are going for the level five military hospital and level three recording office. Yeah, a lot of infrastructures there. And now I am relocating my headquarters. I'm sending them back after I moved it to Istanbul, but now it's going to go back to its original place. Um, Indian fighters, they are attacking me in the center of Africa. Okay, I have a nearby uh, National Guard. I'm going to send it straight to that airfield. 
You see, that's what we are talking about. You remember when I said I'm going to keep sending my national guards on Africa to keep India uh, confused? Well, this is what we are talking about because seeing his air force in Africa, so away from the battlefront, is actually uh, proof that my strategy is going perfect because I wanted so bad to keep his air force away from the front in order for my elite attack aircrafts and attack helicopters to operate safely away from his air security fighters well our strategy is going is going smooth it's going perfect there our navies that are still alive deleting a nation after a nation destroying the navies in all of the seas and the oceans and now we are on the coast of Myanmar trying to get rid of his attack submarines once and for all I will be moving uh, carefully here because we detected my elite submarines has detected uh, more attack helicopters near the city in front of the city of Yangon he has another naval base in the city of Mike. Mike. I don't know if I spelled it right, but that's how we spell it in English. Okay, so we got rid of the Myanmar infantry. Now let's go back for uh, regeneration of health. Romania is still static. He did not move yet. I am so close to the Indian airfield there. I hope I get it so soon. You see how we spread in North of Africa? That's about perseverance. That's about persistence. We kept on sending more and more units to him, confusing him from all sides and getting lands. Of course, India now is losing a lot of lands in Africa as I overwhelmed him with my National Guards. I kept on spamming National Guards. Like uh, in a short of time, I had like 30 or 40 National Guards with the list of resources and Again, that choice is paying well now as uh, it is working perfectly. I am actually very satisfied with the variety of strategies in this game, with the, um, the warfare in its best image. Like, we never see such war like this in public games. It's very rare to see such amazing wars, battles, confrontations and furthermore the activity from both sides from my side and the asian side like they are super active and i'm satisfied to see that okay so now yangon is not going to be um protected because we killed the last naval defense there it was an attack submarine let's have a look at the casualties myanmar has forty-seven thousand. turkey twelve thousand. Okay, so you see how many casualties he uh, lost to me? A small update, like Turkey has 156,000 casualties. Okay, after I bombarded the capital Naypital, well, I encountered some Indian multiple rocket launchers. And I lost one cruiser there. Well, yeah, it was overnight, guys, I know. I kept... I was not online and I did not see the Indian uh, multiple rocket launches. The good thing that we destroyed his capital and we destroyed the city of Mandalay. So now Myanmar is down to only one mobilizing city, two mobilizing cities only. Not bad, huh? And uh, the good thing that we got back to our original position, second, after Romania. Here I am chasing the Indian infantry in the city of Atirao. And guess what, boys? Look who is on the move, finally! My ally has chosen to move. Like, we have been waiting for this moment. Our followers, our viewers, they have been waiting for Romania to move. Like, finally! Okay, our air force is healed now, you see that? Good, good, not bad at all. Okay, 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 let's stop here. We are at the end of today's episode. Let's meet in the next one and let's spend this weekend all together. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye.